What's going on, dudes? Stolen back here on State of DK 2, rounding up the end of this game uh, with some of my videos. I've done videos on all of the upgraded vehicles, some glitches here in the game, uh, how to's, tips and tricks. And uh, one thing I want to do today is talk about how to repair your uh, broken or jammed uh, guns for free. Uh, now, this isn't actually something that I learned about until today, which is uh, like a week and a half into having this game and pretty much being done with it. But uh, for those of you who know the deal uh, with State of Decay 2 and guns, you have to repair your gun basically after every time you fight a damn juggernaut because they take so much freaking ammo from your guns. But anyway, dudes, it does get uh, pretty expensive to repair your guns all the time using all those parts, uh, always having to look for more parts or break down materials for parts uh, to be able to repair them. So instead of doing all that stupid crap that we're used to, I'm going to show you guys this super easy way. It's not even a glitch. It's something that's built into the game uh, that a lot of people are overlooking uh, because it's not really describing it very well. So first things first, I'm going to pull out a gun. I have one equipped. It is fully uh, healed. So I'm going to uh, use up all my ammo. I'm going to set it to burst and just kind of sit here and uh, shoot my rounds until my gun breaks. I might have to grab more rounds, I think. Yeah, so more 45 caliber rounds. Let me look for those so I can, uh, here we go. I'm just gonna pull out three stacks. All right, we're gonna try to shoot this gun until it breaks, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, fix it without repairing it. So I'm not sure how many shots this is gonna take, but hopefully it breaks pretty soon. Sad, there aren't even any zombies around. Oh, I think there's a horde up here. Aim in their direction, see if I shoot any of them. Yeah, so breaking a gun works a lot easier if you have a gun that you can set to full auto. Uh, so you can just kind of sit here and keep shooting, but uh, apparently that did not do the trick for this weapon. I would pull out my AK or my um, scars, my red talon scars, but they uh, actually don't have any more 7.62 uh, ammo, so that kind of freaking sucks. But uh, so I guess I'm just gonna have to keep pulling out a whole bunch of these 45 caliber rounds until this gun breaks. Uh, that way I can show you guys what it takes to uh, fix one of these bad boys. So I'm just gonna skip to uh, the part where this gun is actually broken. All right, dudes, my gun finally broke after a few stacks of 45 caliber ammo. Uh, you can see in the bottom right corner that it has the icon for the gun, and it is red. Uh, it also has the red bar above it if we pull it up in our inventory. So uh, it says broken on there. So we can only repair broken guns this way. Uh, the way I'm going to show you does not work for uh, yellow damaged guns, only uh, broken guns. So. Uh, first things first, usually we would go put it in a supply locker and try to repair it by clicking Y and uh, repair, but that's not what we're going to do today. We're going to have to make sure that we have in our community someone with weapon handling. Uh, and whenever you go to uh, max out your weapon handling or whatever it is, you get to choose, uh, you get to basically like specialize, I think it's called, uh, in a certain, uh, like two different weapon handling perks I guess uh, there's anyway there's two different ones one of them is to give like I don't know like better re better like reloading or less sway or less kickback and the other one uh, is to be able to clear jammed firearms in the field so that's the one you're gonna want to specialize in make sure you have someone in your community with weapon handling and specialize in the skill that clears jammed firearms in the field so um, let's see, I'm going to put this gun into my supply locker. Let's see, there it is in my supply locker right there. And then I'm gonna switch to my character, uh, Kwong, who has uh, that specialization of weapon handling I was talking about. Uh, and then we're gonna go pull it out of the supply locker. Here it is, pull it out. We're gonna equip it, make sure it's equipped. You can see in the icon in the bottom uh, right corner, 
is still damaged. If we aim it and try to shoot it, he fixes it. He actually takes it apart and uh, knocks it around a little bit, does some stuff, uh, and then it's good to go. You can shoot it and uh, is back to normal and is fully repaired. You don't have to spend all those stupid parts uh, trying to fix it, basically, which is just just an absolute pain. So anyway, dudes, uh, hopefully this video helps you guys save quite a few parts, uh, even materials if you're breaking down materials for parts just because you can't use your favorite weapon anymore. Uh, so anyway, dudes, feel free to comment in the comment section if you guys have any questions about uh, this or uh, how to do it or whatever and uh, feel free to leave a like if you're really into uh, spreading this message hopefully uh, the community sees it because I think this is definitely worth uh, knowing about because it took me a while it took me like I said almost two weeks to even know that this was a thing and I wouldn't have even seen it if uh, I wasn't watching videos about it so anyway dudes keep an eye out here on State of Decay on my channel for more videos uh, for how to do things and glitches and stuff like that. And I will catch you guys on the flip flop.